Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, thanks so much for stopping by. Today's video is going to be a lip gloss declutter. I just recently did an overhaul in my bathroom and I decided it was time to declutter this lip gloss situation going on right here. To be honest, I've been holding on to a lot of it because I like when the same products are in the drawer and it fills the drawer. I realize that's very wasteful, but something about it is just satisfying to me. There are tons of other products in there that just have not been getting the love that they deserve. I have a whole nother drawer right here full of lip glosses. When it comes to lip products, I am a hoarder. I know it, I'm admitting it. Lip glosses, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip liners. My lip liner collection is ridiculous, but these lip glosses, they have the potential to be loved in another home, in the hands or in the purse of somebody else. So. I need to give them that chance. It's stupid for me to keep all of these, so let's go ahead and get to decluttering. This is the gloss that I have on right now, I believe. This is at first sight, yeah. At first sight, when it comes to NARS lip products, I just freaking adore them. These full vinyl lacquers, their lip glides, they're just beautiful. So I've already gone through, I had more than this and I decluttered some. This is where we're going to start getting rid of things. Do you see what I mean? Like this just brings me satisfaction that it all is cohesive. And so therefore I feel like I need to keep it, but that's ridiculous. So in these first three drawers, I have a chit ton of NARS lip glosses. There is no need for all these NARS lip glosses, but once again, just the look of having them all together just brings me a great amount of joy. Also, I have a whole bunch of the balm creamy lip stains in here. So whenever I look at these right off the bat, I'm like, why did I even keep these two? These came in a recent collection. There's a really cute kind of sherbet orange shade called Outrage, and then this soft lavender called Color Me. I haven't even swatched these yet, so these could definitely either go into a giveaway away or to a friend. I have a whole bunch of these super glittery looking glosses. Um, when I look at these right off the bat, I do like the look of this kind of soft pink nude shade. This one is called Redemption. Why does this look the same? No. Okay. It's Redemption and Relentless. I have another random swatch there. Okay. That would make a really pretty lip topper. This also has a really interesting paddle like instead of being a fuzzy doe foot applicator it's more of like a silicone paddle so that one has more of a soft pink shift whereas this one let's see Ooh, i think i kind of like they're both pretty similar but this one is more nude so i'm going to stick with relentless and give up redemption if i have a clear gloss i prefer to have more of a gold shift rather than silver so I can get rid of that. Then I have two gold ones. We have Sexy Time and then Working Girl. Why do I love the names of both of those? So this one is pretty darn like straight up yellow gold, but I think on top of a nude lip, that would be beautiful. Let's see which I like more because I feel like both are pretty similar. Oh, but I don't know. This very bottom one here is called Star Babe. Okay, I think I like that one more. This one may be too yellow gold, so we are going to pass on that. And this gloss is called Bite. This is one of my most used. It's like a soft mauve pink shade, and I have a hair here. Go away. That one is a keeper. Did we decide this was a keeper as well? Relentless? Yes. And we have this shade Love Me Go. I think this may have come in this same collection. It is a beautiful kind of bubblegum Barbie pink. I haven't even swatched it. I know it's way too pink for me. So this is just going to have to be decluttered. Now we have a whole bunch of these mauve tone looking glosses. This color family is just my absolute favorite when it comes to lip products. I'm going to go ahead and swatch all four and hopefully be able to get rid of at least one. So from top to bottom, we have Mythic Red, Fever Beat, Pulsion, and then one of my absolute favorites, No Regrets. The bottom three, I just love. The top one, it's still in the mauve family, but it's a little bit too pink, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Yes, I kept three, but still, look how much we've gotten rid of so far. Things are going well, people. I'm feeling good. Next up, I have three kind of nude salmon pink tone glosses. So we have Big Trouble, Chelsea Girls, and then Vita Loca. I feel like all three of these are actually pretty similar. Um, I know I've worn Chelsea Girls a few times and I've liked that one, so that's the only one that I'm going to keep from that section. Next, we have a few of these purple tone shades. There's Provoke and then Off Limits. 
Off Limits came from the Man Ray collection. That's cute, I would never wear it. And we have the shade Provoke. This is just a straight up purple plum. I don't think I would really ever wear that. And then we have a few red shades. This one I know I love called Kiki. This is such a beautiful, rich shade for fall. Oh yeah, that one is definitely a keeper. And then we have Burning Love and Noise. I feel like Burning Love is one mm, that's pretty, but I think that's a shade my mom would like. So we're going to pass on that and then let's see what Noise looks like. Oh yes, that has like the perfect amount of just like a brick, slightly brown toned. So that's a keeper. Then we have a few more shades in here. This one, once again, is just way too pink called Sexual Content. It's cute, but I wouldn't wear it. And then just three shades more on the brown and nude side. This one is called Asphalt Jungle. It looks really interesting, but it's too metallic-y for me. So that's gonna have to go, this is Instant Crash, I think, or Instant Crush, no, Instant Crash. Love this nude. I already know I like this one as well. So holy cow, I've gotten rid of more than I'm keeping so far, who am I? Okay, then we have a few of these formulas. Under Arrest, this is a definite keeper. Um, Summer Fire, I already know I like this one. I think I actually like all of these. So yeah, we're gonna keep those. And then I just have three more glosses, two in Overheated. I loved this gloss so much that Laura gave me her extra. And then the shade Do Not Disturb, which is like the perfect red. Look at Overheated. Isn't that beautiful? It's like my favorite type of nude. So these are all the NARS glosses that we're keeping. I got rid of two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 glosses. Oh, this is already going so well. Now moving on to the Balm Creamy Lip Stains. If you are looking for a hydrating, comfortable formula that leaves a beautiful glossy stain, you will love these. One of my absolute favorite shades is called Konnichiwa. Salute is also really beautiful. The only two that I'm getting rid of from this collection is Namaste and Hello. Both of those are really nice, but I just don't get quite as much use out of them. Y'all, I have a whole empty drawer plus a little bit of another one. That's pretty exciting. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move these out of the now, way. Now, right under that stack of drawers, I have one of these five drawer Muji sets. So starting off with the Urban Decay and Chanel Glossomers, starting off with the Balm ones, that way I can just combine it with the others. Let's see, we have the shade Overstate. This is beautiful, it's like a great lip topper but I have a million of these already, plus I kept several from NARS. So that one can go. This one is called Elaborate. This is such a beautiful kind of dusty mauve berry shade. That's pretty similar. I really like this formula though. It has a slight minty feel. Let me see what this one looks like. Amplify, this looks like another type of lip topper. That looks pretty similar to one of the pink ones that I kept from NARS. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. And then we have Extravagant. This looks a little bit more, ooh, that's my type of shade. Okay, I am gonna keep that one. And then let's see, how about this guy? This is just another nude gloss. That's pretty, but I haven't been reaching for these as much. Whenever I first got them, I was obsessed. I'm only gonna keep two and get rid of three. And look, it can still make me happy because they can be with the other balm products. Okay, so like I said, Chanel, I'm keeping. Moving on to these Urban Decay glosses. The formula is nice, but I definitely go for like my Buxom lip polishes way more. So right off the bat, these two, I just know I'm not gonna wear. We have the shade SPL and then Fireball. Both of these are more like shimmery lip toppers. The shade is called Snitch. I've already gotten rid of a ton of different pinks, and I think this is a cute kind of corally neon for summer. So I am going to keep that shade. We have two more type of nude shades. I do love Fuel. 1993 is pretty, but I just don't think I wear it often. It's a little bit more on like the taupey brown side. I love the way that these smell though. It's kind of like mint chocolate chip ice cream. I'm gonna pass on that. I do like this sheer red gloss. This is one of my favorites, Back Talk. I think I'm gonna get rid of both of these, Obsessed and Rapture. Oh. I really do like Rapture though. This is like a good pinky, slightly mauve. It doesn't have the most pigmentation, but with the lip liner, it's really pretty. Okay, so we ended up getting rid of five of those glasses. 
and look, now there's room. We have one of the YSL lip stains. I'm gonna keep that and make room for it here. This is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. As you can see, like I've scraped it. This is empty. This just needs to go into an empties bin. I love this gloss. I know there's a really good package deal coming up for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So I'm gonna get rid of that. This is the Estee Lauder Victoria Beckham collection. This is just a really nice nude. I wanna keep that. And then we have these two from Gerard Cosmetics. Envy and Destiny. These are pretty, but I mean, I haven't reached for these in I don't know how long. So those just need to go. We have some from the Patrick Star and Mac collab. I would like to keep those. There's another one from Patrick's collection. And then another one. One of my favorites is, I think it's Mama Star. That's actually my purse right now. She Better Work might be a little bit too nude, but sometimes for like in the center of your lip, that's really pretty. I feel like I've been really good with the other ones, so I would like to keep that one. The Dose of Colors Desi and Katie collab. This was one of the products that I was like the most happy with from the collab, so I do want to keep that. This MAC lip glass in under the sheets. I think this has a little bit too much of a metallic finish to it. It's pretty, but it almost looks a little bit too milky frosty, so I'm not going to keep it. All right, then we have several, let me move this drawer out of the way, several of these Bare Minerals glosses. I actually really like the formula of these, but right off the bat, fancy. I just don't think I would really use that much. These shades, I love this one here called Forbidden, and then where is it? Snarky. These two are some of my absolute favorites. I don't think I would wear far out. Let's see what this looks like. I love the applicator on these as well. This one is almost, yeah, like that's too nude for me. I'm gonna put that in the final drawer from the first tower. That way we have more room in this. Next, we have my Buxom glosses. I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of any of these. I love the formula of the Buxom full-on polishes. The new Milani ones, the Keep It Full, I feel like are a pretty good dupe of these. When I look at this, um, yeah, I think I wanna keep all of them. I just really love this formula. Although this one in Havana Punch, this might be a little bit too much of a milky. Yeah, I don't think I would use that. So we will get rid of one, actually maybe two. What is Dolly Daiquiri? Dolly is actually one of my favorite shades from Buxom, but no, that has the right amount of nude. Just kidding, she's a caper. And then everything else in here I will be keeping. Okay, moving on, we have two more drawers. Let's go ahead and start with this Becca one. I also love the Becca glosses, the ones that came in the Chrissy Teigen collection. I absolutely adore. Beach Bum is one of my faves. And then we have, actually all those are the Chrissy Teigen ones. Then we have lots of these lip toppers. When these first came out, I really liked them, but there's no way that I would use all of these. I got a ton of use though. I think this is Topaz, just kidding. This is Champagne Dream. That one I will keep. Since we kept so many of the other NARS golden ones, I think I can pass on. I do like how that one has pink though. Um, okay, some of these definitely have to go. Let me go ahead and swatch them all first. As you can see, all these have a clear base, so I don't know how well you'll be able to see the shift. The only two that I decided to keep are Pearl and then Champagne, and the other three are Finding a New Home. Okay, now when I look at these two, I like this shade, but this one is called Tiger Lily. That's a really pretty coral, but it's kind of similar to one of the balm ones that I kept. So that one's gonna go. I do really like this one, especially during the holidays. It's just so pretty and rich. So that's what we are keeping for Becca. Now moving on to ColourPop. I can already tell a lot of these are just gonna have to go in the trash because as you can see, they have separated. This one is called Weho. Let me smell. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't even smell good anymore and it just looks gross. But master plan, sorry, ooh, like look at this one, bestie. That's sad because this was really pretty, but those have to be trashed. These all look good. This one looks a little bit too metallic-y. It's called Wham. That can go. This from the, everything that came in the Hello Kitty collection I thought was really cute. This one looks a little bit separated too, so I think that's gonna have to be trashed. Piranha looks separated, but yeah, that smells funky, ew. Unfortunately, there's six that just have to go in the trash because 
they expired. So out of those two sets of drawers, I ended up getting rid of, crap, I just lost count. I think it was 42 that I counted. I got rid of so much NARS, like way more than what I was expecting. I'm so proud of myself. Unfortunately, this bottom row is just gonna have to be trashed. These ones smell a little funky, so I think that they've turned, but still, Look at all these other products that are off to find a new home. I'm so happy and proud of myself. Now I'm gonna go ahead and swing you down and show you this drawer over here because there's more glosses in there and now I have additional space in those drawers where I can go ahead and put more glosses because those drawers are just, I don't know, they're just easier for me to see and like I really remember what I have there so I'd like to just transfer more glosses over to I realize that, that this is excessive but I just adore lip glosses I think more than liquid lips lipsticks or anything else so this has already been decluttered I really don't think there's anything else I'm gonna pull out of here but I'm just gonna pull out a few other favorites that I love that way I can transfer them over to the drawer unit on top of the vanity okay so here is an overview of everything that's in the drawers now we have NARS and the balm in the first two drawers then we have some Mac and bare minerals the Buxom glosses, which I found a few others to add into here. And here I have all of my Becca glosses, the Urban Decay Chanel, and then I added a few other favorites. For instance, I have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. I love that formula from the drugstore. Then ColourPop, and then on the very bottom drawer, I pulled out a few staples that I love, the Persona glosses. I love the formula of those, Laura Mercier, the e.l.f. Plumping glosses, and then the Sephora Melting Lip Clicks. I realize those two aren't actual glosses, but they apply like one, and they have the shine of a gloss, so I thought that was a good place for them. So there you have it. There is my lip gloss declutter. Let me know if you guys would like to see more makeup declutters, because I definitely need to be getting rid of more products. But thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. If you guys haven't already, I would love if you subscribed and yeah I think that's pretty much it I hope you guys all have a great day and I will catch you in the next one bye